Well, hi there, and welcome to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stroman. And we love to improve your home and improve your life, and it's here. It's pumpkin time! It is pumpkin arama, and... They're I, everywhere. I think I started to see the pumpkins, Wait, maybe... Wait, pumpkin arama. That's true. That's a good word for it. Pumpkin arama. Pumpkin fest? I like pumpkin They're at the grocery stores. They're... I saw them at CVS picking up the old Synthroid. I was in there, oh. and bam, what I see? A, a box of pumpkins. What the heck are, are they doing? They're everywhere. Doing? They're everywhere. I know. Yeah. So let's talk about them, because we are getting close to Halloween. We have yeah. a few weeks yet, of course. We have time. But, you know, I think a lot of people love to... Revisit their childhood. It just kind of makes you feel like you're a kid again to get into the whole Halloween spirit. And that starts with pumpkins. It sure does. And and, and I might may I interject? Really? You can't just do a traditional pumpkin anymore. No. That's so yesterday. Well, and the thing is, we don't want to carve a pumpkin yet. Heck because no. we've learned our lesson, haven't we? Did we did an intensive study with lab coats and laboratory things, really realizing there is only one way to truly preserve a pumpkin. What is that way? Wait. Thank you. Don't cut it. Don't cut it. Because now. basically we also learned much like Christmas trees, the pumpkins are not getting any younger. No, they're not. I mean, you might as well go ahead and buy them. But how about buying them now and doing something to them that doesn't even require a knife? We're talking no carve. But wait, we do it let's stress that again because seriously the pumpkins that you see now are the same pumpkins you're going to see in three weeks. It isn't like they're bringing a new No, a, they're new not. Shipments. There's not a new truck. They're done. They're here. It's over. They've been harvested. Get them now. You, you, you can use them longer. But just don't cut them yet. No. You know, you can cut them later. But the idea is you can decorate them. We have dozens and dozens of fun things you can do that doesn't require a knife. We're going to just decorate yeah. the, the existing. Keep it whole. We're not going to open By it. By the way, when, when you decide you do want to carve the pumpkin, if you do... Yeah. You can still carve it after you've gussied it up. You can. The way we're talking about yeah. now. So we now just don't want you to cut into it now because then it's like a, a rotting piece of fruit on the counter. We don't like we that. We don't like it. It doesn't last it very doesn't long. It doesn't work. We've tried the Vaseline. We've done everything. We've tried the bleach. I've tried everything I can try. And you know what? <laughs> Frankly, I'm done. You're I can't exhausted. try anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go through our list of favorite things. All right. So you were kind of so-so on this one. It's a little bit further down on the list, but I am this year. Yeah. I'm going white pumpkins and I'm going black lace. Wait, this is your winning pumpkin? This is the one? Well, for me, I, I am just right. feeling kind of right. girly. I am going for, this is black fishnet stockings, ladies. You get the black fishnet stockings, and you get the white pumpkins. And you're, take, it is, you're, you're taking it's it sexy. Sec, you're taking sexy it's time. It's sexy time. And what it does, it, it looks almost like a spider web on the pumpkin. Because it you does. can get you can get different kinds of of stockings that are fishnet. Some have like, almost like a little spider or a, a little knotting in the center, you know. So it looks. I like a believe web. that we could create a whole new uh, subcategory in the pumpkin game. Uh huh. This is called a pornkin. Oh gee. <laughs> God. Wow. <laughs> Be careful. Get pornkin.com. It's a pornkin. You, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't really mean it to be too I know, racy. I know. I just meant a little, a little kind of sassy. But it's you're a gonna, sassy you pumpkin. know you're going to blow the thing I'm concerned about. You're going to blow a good pair of sassy Well, I'm going to go to the 99 cent store okay, and get some, I get some right. cheapo ones. So here's the deal. You get a pair of these fishnet stockings. Yeah. Or maybe you have some old ones that had a run in them anyway. Yeah. And you would just cut them at the halfway point, and you're going to cover two different pumpkins with that. And you can get either... You, oh, they, so you get two out of one pair of legs. You can get two out of, well, out, of, out of one leg. Oh, so four total. You can get four. And you can even use those pumpkins that are fake called funkins. You get at Michael's, they're like they're foam. You can get those. So I'm going to do pornkin on a funkin. That's what I'm going to do this year. <laughs> and you basically cut it halfway at the leg, and you just kind of stretch it up and over the pumpkin. Sure. And then the little, you know... What do you call it? The little stem that sticks out of the top. It yeah. just pops through, and it's just going to fit around it, and I it's like cute. It. Anyway, All right. It does, it does look kind of great. It looks kind of – and they, the key is to have maybe three or five of them. I have a collection and, and different kinds of stockings. You All may right. even want to integrate sexy nurse costume with this <laughs> pumpkin. I think you'd be good. All right. Yeah. So what, is, what would you say is your number one? I think my number one is the – well, there's one that I do really kind of enjoy, but it takes three pumpkins. Okay, what's that? That's creating the spider Ooh. body out of three. You, so you put three pumpkins together. And are you using real pumpkins real or pumpkins, fake? Real okay. pumpkins. And you're using and like that, a, a peachy orange pumpkin you, you or You can white? use any color you want. Any color, okay. Because it can be, you know, you can paint it, you can make it black, you can leave it orange, whatever you want to do. And then out of the center pumpkin, what are you doing? You're, you're sticking spidey legs out of it. So three on each side. 
And what are the legs made out of? They can be made out of either, you know, wood dowels that you then you can tape with duct tape and then spray paint the whole thing black to give yourself spider oh. leg joints. So you're kind of lying it on the side. Ly- lying it on the side, having the stems go off to the side. You put mm-hmm. the two, you know, the mm-hmm. spider eyes in the front, stick it into the into the front of the uh-huh. pumpkin. And then you got your uh, your three legs. Actually, how many? There's it's an arachnid, so there's eight legs, right? So mm. four legs each mm-hmm. on the side of the middle pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Preferably, you're going to do smaller for the head, medium size for, for the, the torso. center body where the legs come out. And then it's and then of course the big one on the, is... the bottom is in the back. Now you can also use sticks, tree branches that are of equal size, mm-hmm. as long as they kind of wisp over and give you the look of the legs coming down under the grass. You can kind of lay part of it out on the stair, and then the rest goes out onto the grass, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe two Cute. paper plate eyes with some little gemstones, so it looks like he's got the multiple eyes, and then, and then the the stem of the of the head pumpkin faces forward, so it almost looks like a pumpkin mouth or nose. Very, very Or a cute. spider mouth or nose, Love it. I mean. Yeah. And it's ooh, so scary. <laughs> and Fun those project. pumpkins can ultimately be recarved. That's smart. At the end of See, the day. so you're getting, it's a two for the price of one day. I will say, though, if you puncture the pumpkin with the spidey legs, uh-huh. you could risk the thing going rotty on you okay. sooner than later. All right. But all if right. you just go in a little bit, like a tiny, maybe a half inch, I don't think you'll have a problem. My other favorite, I, I love that idea. I think it's a cute, cute project, especially for the whole family. Yeah. And this would look great, I think, if you had a stoop on your front door. Oh, yeah. How about going, again, with the white pumpkin? I'm going for some of the rhinestones and the bling. It's fun. You're really bringing the... Bringing the you're bling. bringing the bling. And bringing, yes. Bringing I mean, it's girly. These, the I mean, girly. I, these are girly pumpkins. These are girly pumpkins. Yeah. And why not have... I mean, I will do a ma- macho, manly pumpkin, too. But I, I think that it's kind of fun, especially when you go to, like, the artsy, craftsy stores they sell now. Yeah. Um, they have like a flat surface. They look like little diamonds, the rhinestones, and they come in a little oh, packet. Oh, sure. Oh, and they stick. They have adhesive on the back. Yes. Yes. Or you can use a hot glue gun, and you just follow. You know what do you call the veins, the sides sure. of the pumpkins, right in the crevice, and you would just oh, go around and around that's like a Vegas and around. Pumpkin. Right, it's throw kinda, a little light on that from the front door. It almost, Bam! And it looks like a spider web, too. Yeah. Oh, my See? goodness. And you put is... this next to your spider pumpkin. Why can't we do this all year long? Well, we there's have more so to, talk to talk about. I know there's so many ways that you can decorate a pumpkin without carving. Yes. Eric Strower, Cindy Dole, we're having fun getting you ready for Halloween. You're listening to Home Wizards, where we love to improve your home and improve your life. Uh, welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Strom. And it's never too soon to talk about pumpkins. No, not now. No, I mean, you're We're excited inundated about... with it. They're I know, everywhere. I know, but the only thing is then, what were you going to say something? I was going to tell you that yeah. one of my favorite all-time pumpkin looks... What? The old candy corn pumpkin. Ah. You know what I'm saying? You know the way the candy corns look? They're sort of gradated, triangular. They go from the light. It's like an ombre. Light down to the orange, down to the sort of goldy yellow. Mm -hmm. That's just a spray paint detail. You just have to tape off three different sections so that it kind of, you know, stripes all the way around. So it's one big huge. White on the top, orange in the center, and then yellow on the bottom. And then you get the candy corn. Oh, so you stack three pumpkins. No, no, no. no, Just just the way that they're sprayed, the configuration Uh of the striping, right? So, by the way, we're talking about ways to decorate a pumpkin without carving because it's way too soon to carve a pumpkin. We don't want to do that. They'll start getting all rotty. It's going to get icky and smelly, and it's going to be very depressing. So instead, we're going to kind of get you eased into the Halloween spirit in a way that the pumpkin's going to stay fresh and if you want to and we recommend that you buy them now because they don't get any younger they They, they pick them at one time and they're all sitting in a warehouse somewhere (laughs) they're not continuing to grow and they're getting sad they're they're waiting to have a home bring them bring them home now have them longer so how about glitter okay go have you ever done a glitter pumpkin i haven't done this i I want to do this i'm going to do the fishnet stocking thing i might try going all you're going blingy bling i think we're gonna have to get like a dozen pumpkins because there's so many great ideas i think it's i feel like you're creating some kind of a halloween brothel in this place what's going (laughs) on well we, we talked about about the fishnet stocking <laughs> idea where you, you cut the leg in half and then yeah. you put one over one pumpkin. And you can use a fake pumpkin, too. Yeah, I mean, I but, like the you idea. Know, might as well get the real you might as well get a real one. Because then you can do two, repurpose it, then yep. you get two uses out of it. And cut it open, and then you get your seeds, because I know yes. you love your pumpkin seeds. Be, mm. I love, by the way, nutritious and delicious. Yeah, antioxidants, I, I, probably. I, I, riddled, I might say, <laughs> with antioxidants. All right, go ahead. And it's great for your skin. Yeah. But the glitter, by the way, is another very, very simple, very fun... Um, very girly kind of an idea. And how about getting like white gold glitter, yeah. copper glitter, 
and then fire orange glitter. And this could be done on a regular, like, true, fresh pumpkin, you know, that you buy. Or I'm all about, too, trying those those funkins, those, those fake foam pumpkins, because now if you do something that's so beautiful, you might want to have it Sure, in store like for an next all year round thing. <laughs> well, no, all, yeah, the Halloween that won't go away, or or just put it in the garage in some storage yeah, bag yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But idea. you would get a, you know, get some paper plates out and put your, you know, piles of different colors. And this is going to be a fun project for for Willow because she's sure. a glitter girl. She's a glitter girl. You have There's glitter no on your nails. It looks like on she your painted toe. one toenail on my left foot. It's pink. It's got pink with uh, white polka dots. A little. That's very cute. And I was walking that's with open toed shoes to a construction site just several days ago, and the plumber was like. Um, uh huh. Hey. You're looking <laughs> yeah, good, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and you said, "Well, I said, it was my dog." He's like, yeah, "Whatever." Anyway, can I get my down payment? <laughs> <laughs> so, Harry, if you do the the pumpkin idea with uh, with the glitter, I mean, it's very simple. You just you know put on some glue and then roll the pumpkin in the glitter and your or sprinkle it on. That's basically like the same exact process as doing shake and bake chicken. It is. It really is. That's a thing, great idea. Right? When's the last time you had shake and bake? Shake and bake. And you, we helped. Remember I love that? yes. You put it in a bag and shake it around. It's just breadcrumbs and yeah, salt and a lot of salt. Yeah. How about spray painting your pumpkins in a really pretty uh, metallic color too? Again, going for like that antique brass or copper uh, That's pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. I love all those those you know metal tone mm-hmm. colors. I think they're really great. And I would suggest that if you buy, they sell those little teeny tiny pumpkins. Yeah, you don't have to have all big pumpkins. This no. is kind of fun for like a mantle. Well, you could do several or different sizes, right? Yes. And then they become really sort of formal and beautiful yeah. on the fireplace mantle. Yeah, it's so like I've been you know envision having let's say you had maybe almost a dozen of these smaller to medium size. I mean they're about the size of your fist. Sure. And then you would paint them. You could do the glitter and also the metallic paint. Paints in gold, in you know, antique kind yeah. of a bronzy and a silver, fun, copper, very fall. Yeah, I love copper. It. And I got to tell you, those little ones seem to last way longer than the big ones. They so do. you could probably get a Christmas out of them if you wanted. <laughs> you just keep them all year long, right up until January. Mm, you don't I think? Would, no, I think it would take those down. I, it's, I it's, wonder though, because of the paint, it might just kind of you know keep it entombed in something oh, that yeah, would prevent it, it from going it bad. It might. It might all of a sudden get a little soft. Yeah. And all of a sudden you might have some gnats that's and true. things like that. Yeah. Okay, forget that idea. <laughs> what about the thumbtack pumpkin? I think that your, your idea on the thumbtack pumpkin was kind of cool. This is a manly pumpkin. Yeah. And this is basically just a couple of packages of thumbtacks. You can get the silver ones or you can get the colored ones if you mm-hmm. want, whatever you want to do. And then you can just poke them into the skin of the pumpkin, creating some sort of a pattern, whatever you like. Cute. It can look like, you know, motorcycle Harley guy studs, or it can be more, you know, decor-oriented like a piece of jewelry. Use your own artistic uh, vision, and it'll be fantastic. What about the eyeball pumpkin? What's that one? Well, you know those greenish pumpkins that they sell now that have kind of that greeny-blue tone uh-huh, to them? Uh-huh. You get one of those. You paint a center, uh, like a three-inch in diameter circle for the for the uh, the pupil of the eye. So it's going to be like a one eye? Yes. And then and then you give yourself just the natural color of the pumpkin uh, circumference circle around Ooh. the black part. And then you paint the rest of it white. Uh-huh. And then you paint some red veining on the white area of the pumpkin. Because it's a tire. So it it's looks a like a big eye. giant's eyeball that fell out of his head, Ew. staring right up at you. You may want to throw a skull next to it. That's fun. Well, you, don't, you still have that skull. Do you I have, have that, skulls. Do you still have that guy? The, the, the guy that says, the hey, let me out of here, when he's in the cage with the skeleton. <laughs> you the still have bones. him? I do. Yeah, he still works. What's his, what's his name? Ernie. Like, Ernie? Yeah. Ernie. Yeah, we named him Ernie. Ernie, okay. What about using the cookie cutters? Have you done that? You find cookie you cutters. find your favorite cookie cutter shapes, uh-huh. whether it be a star, a crescent moon, or even uh-huh. you know if you want to go further into the holiday thing, you could even get into like candle looks or you uh-huh. know, even like a reindeer or something. And then you put the the cookie press on the pumpkin with a rubber mallet. You strike it a couple of times mm-hmm. so that you create the exact imprint imprint of that. So it's almost like stenciled in the skin of the pumpkin. So are you breaking into the skin a little bit? You break it into the Uh-oh. skin a little bit, and then you pull it back out and use your pumpkin cutting knife to then trace that exact shape uh-huh. and then poke it out from the inside out, and you get yourself that beautiful look of the uh, of the. You know, the cookie cutter shapes. However, having done that, you have cut into the pumpkin. Yeah, so, so that's... Yeah. just have to keep a heads up on that. Yeah. I love the idea of doing... I'm, I'm 
back to kind of still a girly one. This yeah. is a decoupage. And you use that Mod Podge stuff. It's that all-in-one decoupage sealer. And then you use kind of a narrow foam a brush. And then you're going to use faux pumpkins for this, the funkins, yeah. you know. And, and basically you're going to uh, – and you can even use gourds. Too, by the way, and after you've covered the entire uh, funkin, you know, with with your Mod Podge, you know, then you get some of these different images um, that you can just now decoupage. I mean, maybe it's even wallpaper or any kind of a fancy kind of a, a nice little print that looks like it's it looks like art. Oh, and, that's great! And and when, especially if you use a white pumpkin, and let's say you had like a black, these little images that look almost like black wallpaper. You could even cut some of the pieces out, and you decoupage that onto the pumpkin. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Have you seen the paper bat pumpkin? No. So a you, paper bat? Y- yeah, you cut out little, you trace shapes of bats mm-hmm. on black construction paper, mm-hmm. and then you go ahead and cut them out into the shape of you know scary bats, and you can do slightly variable sizes like. Let's say from wingspan to wingspan, it'd be two inches for one, and then you do another one that's one inch to one inch across. And you you just glue them on the pumpkin from the lower left side of the pumpkin and then across the top, you know, across the top up to the very top of the pumpkin. So it looks like it's a swarm of bats coming out of a scary Whoa. bat cave. And then the orange color of the pumpkin looks like a like a fall night sky. That's very oh, cool. Oh, it's so good. Hey, what about using uh, chalkboard paint? Very easy, especially yeah. just the simple black, you know, with white chalk. Imagine I just painting the entire pumpkin black and then using chalk to decorate. Let's say you, you fill in a ghost and you write the word boo or you use the roundness of the pumpkin itself once painted black. And now you make it the, the face of a cat, the nose, sure, the whiskers, sure, yeah. the eyes. And then maybe use a couple pieces of construction paper or even felt to, uh, to maybe hot glue gun the ears to the pumpkin. Very nice. Very, Very fun, nice. Sweet. Yeah. Have you seen the penguin pumpkin? The penguin pumpkin? Yes. No. Where'd you find that one? Either a black pumpkin or paint one black. And then you do sort of the the interior shape of the penguin's face, which is almost, it almost looks like a an eggplant shape, right? Mm-hmm. And then you just put the two eyes on the top in the white area and then an, a little orange beak on the bottom made out of construction paper, some flapper wings on the outside in the in the black area, and then the feet... You can just use little like yellow bean bags or something to just push right under. That's the... very cute. It's really cute. It looks great. How about having your pumpkin look like it's going to a masquerade party? No, this is kind of very Phantom sure. of the Opera because you know those masks are everywhere. Those are very cheapo plastic masks, you know, that has a little elastic that you put around the back of your head, right. and all it has it just covers. You know, it's kind of like. Well, the masked man, yeah, right? Yeah, like, oh, Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger. Yeah. But all you do is you would kind of dress it up. You could add some feathers to make it feel more like a masquerade party, maybe get some of those little pom-pom tufts, you know, and glitter and stars, and then cut out eyes from a magazine and, a, and lips and put the eyes from beneath the mask. Oh, So now that's it looks great. like, a, and then you strat the elastic around the back of the pumpkin. Very cute. And then you just cut out lips, and so now it looks like it's a... It looks like it's a masked woman. That's really good. It's kind of fun. Love it. Anyway, we have more. We can't stop. We've got dozens more of these. I hope you don't mind. We just, I hope you're having fun with this because we love the idea of decorating pumpkins. How about doing a pumpkin that's like Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head? The list goes on. (laughs) They're everywhere. Decorate them without carving them. Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole. You're listening to Home Wizards. And welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stroman. And uh, we are having fun with pumpkins. Pumpkins that are just in time for Halloween, but we don't want to carve them open yet. Because if you do, they're going to get rotty. Mushy. Mushy and gross. And they're going to be sad because, you know, it's like we have ways to go to Halloween. So why not get the pumpkins now? And here's why. Because they all pick them at the same time. They're sitting at the store in a warehouse, whatever. They're not continuing to grow. Mm -hmm. They've already been harvested. So you might as well buy them now and get the most use out of them. And have some fun with them. Same thing, by the way, for the Christmas tree. Isn't it interesting? Yeah. They're sneaky that way, aren't they? You want to just buy the tree as soon as they come out and just keep them in your home instead of on on the lot. Well, it won't be dried out. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How about a puffy paint pumpkin? Okay. A puffy paint You, you pumpkin. had me at how about? <laughs> what happened? So the puffy paint pumpkin, this is another, you crafters, you know what I'm talking about. When you go to the artsy craftsy stores like Michael's, they have so many different things. I mean, it's so easy to become artistic now. You almost go, wow, that's all it is? You can get some of these, um, again, you can buy the, I love the white pumpkins, whether they're the fresh ones or the fake 
Funken, you know, store bought like they're made out of foam pumpkins. But the idea is they have this glue that you can, it has different colors, pastel colors, vibrant colors. And a lot of times it's used for t shirts to make puffy art. Oh, I know what you mean. And so it, 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 it it's hardens. like expandable it, yeah. st- 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 stuff that comes out of the tube. It doesn't just dry flat, yeah, it almost got, looks like it has yeah. some kind of a thing that you've stuck on top of it. Sure. It has a puffiness to it, yeah. like a blistering it's almost effect. Almost like caulk. Yeah, 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 and it stays that way. So as as creative as you want to go wild with this, I mean, you could just f- go nuts and then just imagine something very intricate, almost like an Asian or Persian rug, and you're going through and you're following the lines and the curves of the sure. pumpkin using maybe just as white or sky blue. I've seen that done where it's sky blue against the white. So kind of non-traditional pumpkins, but really, really pretty. Kind of cute. Hey, have you seen the witch's legs pumpkins? Is this where you use like socks coming out of a pumpkin? No, or but no. that's good. Okay. But you you basically just get two larger, long, tall pumpkins, and then you draw two legs like from mid thigh down to the bottom, and then draw the little witch's shoe that curls up with the bow, uh-huh. and then paint maybe yellow striping on the socks, black and yellow striping all the way down. Cute. So it just looks like two witch's legs are are superimposed on the face of the pumpkin. Wow. It's a big hit. At the stroller. Home. Really, really good. Okay, Love man. that. Yeah. I mean, the idea is to just don't do the traditional carving yet. We just want to have some fun with the pumpkin that is, you know, not cut open yet. Like, yeah. for instance, we always love cheesecloth. Cheesecloth is the best to make what at Halloween? Spider webs. Spider webs. Anything or creepy? Or ghosts. Or ghosts. This is what they use. The, like, the, the really, like, high-end people that, that do all these, you know, haunted mansions. Yeah. You know they, what the best thing is with that? What? It's the balloon. You put the cheesecloth over the balloon and then spray it with adhesive so that it hardens. And Pop the balloon. And... Put oh. a string on the top, put some black eyes on the cheesecloth, and it looks like a scary Oh, that does sound good. Oh, yeah, it's great. And so while while you're loading up on the cheesecloth, which is really just so inexpensive, you get this like at the Joann's Fabrics or wherever your local fabric store, and all you're going to have is maybe some of that, and um, you'd you'd want to have some scissors and an acrylic, maybe some black acrylic paint and even a paintbrush, and get some of those those little eyes, those googly eyes you also get like at the arts and crafts store that are like what they would have on a doll. Sure. And you're going to basically turn your pumpkin into a mummy head. Because you will take the cheesecloth and you wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around, except you're leaving a little space to put the two little plastic googly eyes. You know what that's I mean? That's kind of good. And then you paint a little black, a little black mouth, and that's it. It's very cute. It's very uh, easy. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. You, know, you know what else, too? Just the simple, I love these sort of, these pastel colors yes. that have a vibrance to them. Yes. Almost. They're almost like uh, fluorescent uh-huh. colors, but... Like a pink and a purple. And Pretty. A, and then just do black polka dots on top of that. So nice. say like a pink pumpkin, black stem, black polka dots, different sizes all around it. See, that's very non-traditional, yeah, but really beautiful. And that's something that you'd want to probably have it last for a while. You may you want know? to take a picture of that one and then put that in the pumpkin print and, over, and you can bring that out during the holidays. You've got the pumpkin prints of your camera mm. photo and then it's all done. Oh my gosh. Stuff. You can hang that up on the front door too. Oh my goodness. The list goes on. Now, did you ever growing up buy one of those bottles? I'm not sure. It's a bottle of wine or it's a bottle of something. You'd see it in Italian restaurants and you'd get, it's a kit and it would, came, it would come with this candle, a multicolored candle and you would light it and it would drip wax on the sides oh, of the bottle. Sure. Do you ever get that? Yeah, the old candle wax Did you get bottle. that? Well, I had that in college as my primary light source when I was <laughs> trying to get my romance on. <laughs> okay. Well, now you Waterbed, could, light. Uh-huh. Boy, you, know, you have all the, old, all the tricks. With the, yeah, wow. You know it. Well, anyway, this is something that's like that, but it's, um, imagine having, again, your canvas is a white pumpkin. Oh, boy. And this is going to be, you're going to buy some crayons, and when's the last time you got to play with crayons? You're going to get some crayons, and hopefully uh, you get some of that tacky glue, and what you're going to do is this is going to be a drip pumpkin project. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You're basically going to, just like that melted wax that you had that was that candle in that wine bottle that you saw at Italian sure, restaurants. Sure, sure. You're, mel- you're melting wax on the pumpkin. Yeah. It's the same kind of a thing. Is you're going you're gonna to melt the wax. You're going to melt the crayons. And it's really easy to do. I mean, you could just use a hot um, a hair, hair dryer, basically, and use the heat from a hair dryer. That'll get it going? That'll get it going. And what you do is you position you position the crayons, all that, like, imagine having a rainbow from purple to blue, to green, to yellow, to orange, to red. And you lie them out on top. So you stand, you stand your pumpkin with the little, you know, 
root come out of the top, right? And you set them out, kind of fan them around that stem. Oh. And then you would get some of the tacky glue and you would put the glue on the sides. And then you use the hot, the heat from the hair dryer, and that's supposed to then melt it, but it will stick where the glue is on the side. Oh, so it's trickling cool. down. Oh. So it won't just trickle on and fall on your table. Yeah, because it probably wouldn't stick otherwise. It's now going to stay. So you've, you've put the tacky glue around where you want it to to trap the crayon. Uh-huh. Do you think that the heat from the hair dryer will melt it enough? If it's a hot enough dryer, yeah. yeah. I've, I've had them where they actually burn the hair out. Okay. When you know, like in the hotels, you get a bad one. Like, yeah. What's that smell? Well, we don't Honey, want that. that. Oh, my God, my hair's on fire. <laughs> it's like that feeling, right? Don't want that to happen. No. Yeah. Now, now the other thing, too, is a great tip if you're going to be a wax melter. Oh, good. Get yourself a crock pot because, you know, you can get oh, a cheap crock pot for 16 that's bucks right. at we've Target, talked to right? That. We've talked about that. And just dedicate it only for making candles uh-huh. out of beeswax or doing any kind of melty, melty stuff uh-huh. as it pertains to the craft, you know? So then, but then if you wanted it to be multicolored... You'd have to do each crayon in yeah, a turn, colors at a time. That. But that's yeah. still a good idea because yeah, yeah. then you would really have pristine that, that's quality. That's a perfect heating uh, uh-huh. element to slow slow melt everything. Like one of those like mini potpourri crock pots, that, that size too. one yeah. that I haven't used in years. Yeah. How about turning your pumpkin into like a series of mustache guys? I don't know what's the matter with that. It's just kind of silly. You, know? you just make the mustaches out of, out of, out of paper? You can what? make them out of construction Well, you know, paper. they also sell that flexible stuff that is uh you know it's a little rigid almost feels like construction paper but it is that foamy material oh, uh-huh. you could cut the mustaches out of that you could have everything from like just a you know a straggly mustache to like a full bone curly yeah and to and crazy eyes did you ever you, were you a mustache guy ever i was a beard guy. a beard guy if i if i just have a mustache i look awkward because i don't have any lips <laughs> and it just looks strange <laughs> My kids are like, Dad, you don't have lips. I'm like, oh, All right, poor guy, poor me. What All do you right. think? What's what's what? What is what's this kissing thing I'm doing to you now? Uh, what do you think I'm kissing you with gums? I have oh, some lips, oh, but I just no. don't have big ones. All right. Well, how about so instead, the mustache is a no go. I look horrible. All right. Well, yeah. We won't do that. <laughs> how about this is kind of a fun thing for kids, right? The idea of um, turning some of these pumpkins into potato heads, Mr. Potato yeah, Head. I love that. You know, it's, it's just a very fun project. You know, and you can find the potato head imagery online if you just you know look up images on on the computer and say yeah. Mr. Potato Head. Uh huh. You get all the shapes that you need to to copy to then cut out that exact stuff to give you that, that reference to potato heads. With, with the silly nose and the silly mustache. You plug those ears in, you do the hand, you know, the little arm with a wavy hand, all that stuff. It's great. Now, this is something that's as easy as cotton twine. If you have some, you know, some twine sitting around in the garage, right? Yep. You're going to turn your pumpkin into a tangled web and just some cotton, even some kitchen twine. If you have some of that after you've probably tried to with Roxanne Candelaria type, you know, roll I up. I can't tie a, lamb. A, a lamb leg. Why do you got to throw me under the bus about <laughs> lamb tying? I, I couldn't do it either. It's a hard thing. We, to we had to tie listen, up a leg of lamb. F- well, if it's that hard, you may not even want to stuff it in the first place. It was really good. Though. It had the art- it was artichoke good. and cheese yeah. and breadcrumbs and you can get the recipes. You know, you're, you're making me hungry. Your homewizards.com. Yeah. I know. But this is a tangled web, and all you would do is you get some kitchen twine and a few of those plastic spiders and just, you know, wind it around and wind it around, and I guess you could even have it glued so it's secure, and then just put your little spider, tuck the legs underneath the web, and you're done. Yes. Very easy. I mean, these are all super easy, super Super fun. Super easy. You know what else I love? What's that? Get any color paint you want. I like the fluorescents. Mm -hmm. Put them in a little tiny, you know, two-and-a-half-quart pail. Get the small little pumpkin, hold it by the stem, just dunk it in halfway, oh. pull it out, let it drip a little, put it on some paper like and dry. Like the kitchen spoons. And you get that spoon, look, kitchen I spoon love color that. look. Yes. See, these are so fun and personalized. It doesn't end how much and you can do. One, we want you to email us how you did your pumpkin, how you did your carb-free pumpkin. Show us and we'll put it on our website. By the way, just so you know, when we're off the air, Cindy and I will continue talking about all the things you can do until like 10 tonight. <laughs> we'll, we'll still be going and you guys won't even be listening. Anyway, well, and we'll put it on Facebook too. Yeah. Your Home Wizards com. Check us out on the website. And Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, we're back with more fun. Stick around. Fish full of mercury.